I meant to start vlogging this morning um, when I had breakfast. I made a smoothie for breakfast and it was so delicious. It's been the smoothie I've been making like all week and I think I'm gonna keep eating it all week. It's not good. But I wanted to vlog today because today is kind of, we're going out. We don't really, well we go out but it's a big day because we're going for supper and then we're going to a concert and we're shopping yeah. right now. And we're going a little cray cray. We did this before one time at Polo Park. We went shopping together yeah. and we just kind of went crazy and bought a lot of stuff. And we're doing that again today. But it's worth it. It's fine, we never go out and shop. Yeah, we'll show, this is, we're at the outlet mall in Winnipeg. It's my first, both of our first time coming. And we'll show you what we bought when we get home. And have some tea, because we bought a lot of tea from bought David's a lot of tea. tea. Too. It's so bright, I can't even look at the camera. Got my glasses on, good for me. Yeah, you're smart. We're leaving now, going home with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. Oh my. We went cray cray. <laughs> a little bit cray cray. <laughs> Holy shit. But it was worth it. I don't even want to know how much money we spent. And I still want to buy tickets for Festival de Voyager and the, um, the thing in March. So we're going to spend more money. <laughs> it's... 10 to 4. Carlos is just having a little bit of lunch. Before, even though we're going to have supper at like 5.36. Yeah. He just had to have <clears throat> some meat to fill himself. <laughs> I had a little bit of shepherd's pie. And now I will do my makeup and get ready to go and I'll show you what we got. I think it's all downstairs. I really have to clean our room. Be cool my mess that I made in our room because it was gonna get dark. Because I always just have a really bad habit of throwing my clothes in a pile. Although there's like a yoga mat and two bags down there, so it's not as bad as it looks. So I'm just gonna set the camera up and then I'll show you what we bought. All right, so I have everything here. Um, I'll start with my shoes. So I got a pair of shoes from Nike. I've been looking for a pair of like comfortable shoes to wear to work and the wine store and just for like casual going out. So like I've been on the hop for a while and I finally chose some. I got these. <laughs> they are quite shiny. I, there you can kind of tell like how the shiny they really get. So it's gray, shiny Nike. They were on sale for like 75 and then with taxes it came to 90. So I was really happy with this purchase because I like them and I've been looking for a long time. <laughs> so then I, we also got, I got a pair of tights, workout tights from Saks off Fifth Avenue. And this brand, I've never heard of this brand before. It's called G by Gotex. And they were on sale for $30, which is really good. Sorry, I just realized that I got an extra small. I tried them on and they fit, but I would rather have a small. But anyway, <laughs> okay. And then Carlos, oh, and then I got these root sweatpants. Because believe it or not, I don't own a single pair of sweatpants. So I went with this light pink. It's a new color in their collection. Uh, today it was $25 off sweatpants. So regular $74, $25 off. Came to $55 with tax, which is really good for root sweats. So I could have got the gray, but I really like the pink color. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get the pink. And then Carlos got an amazing deal from Lacoste. So he got this, you know, workout shirt. On the back it says Lacoste. And it's, it's just, I can't, I think he already took the tags off. Anyway, the for this shirt and this one I'm about to show you, for both tops, he only paid $60 which is amazing, especially for Lacoste. So this, you can see the detail, it's like these cubes. And Lacoste is just such good quality and it looks so nice. So it was a really good find for him. Moving on to our treats. So I had coupons from David's Tea from the advent cal calendar my sister got me at Christmas. So it was buy two 100 grams tea, get 100 grams free. 
So Carlos and I went there and we're not really familiar with Davis Tea, so we were smelling a few and getting recommendations from the girls working there. So Carlos ended up choosing the chocolate chili chai. It's a black tea and it smells really good. It smells exactly like it says. It smells like chocolate with just a little bit of a kick to it. I'm really excited to try that one. And also they had a promo going on David's Tea. If you buy 100 grams of tea, you get a free tin. So we got this floral tin and we also got this sloth tin for free, which is super cute. This is the one I picked. This is the blueberry jam. It's also a black tea. It smells so good. It smells like blueberry jam, but it also kind of smells like blueberry pop tarts. Really good. And then we chose so what I thought I was choosing as my free tea was this um, tea Kuan Yin Oolong tea. So this is from Taiwan. And Carlos and I both really liked Oolong tea when we were in Taiwan. So we're like, oh, this is perfect. Let's get one now. And it smells very like earthy, like tea grassy so it doesn't smell nice like the other ones but we're hoping it's be really good and it should be really good because this is fucking expensive i didn't realize that teas could be so expensive but 100 grams of this tea is 27 dollars i probably would have bought it if i had known but whatever it should be worth it we hope and then we also got the um caramel shortbread a fruit infusion tea because it's on sale I had gotten this as my secret Santa gift and Carlos and I both loved it and it was 40% off. So it was regular 17 for the 100 grams with $7 off. So it came to 10. And then we also, like Carlos and I went crazy. We were doing shopping at all these places. We got chocolate from Lynn. So Carlos got this dark coconut Lindor chocolates. We got the gingerbread. Lindor chocolates, and then they had this Ghirardelli peppermint bark on sale for $1.80. So we got that as well. And the final thing we bought today was a Michael Kors bag. Carlos and I were at the Michael Kors store, and I saw this one and I just loved it. And it was 70% off, so regular like 530 or something, and we got it for 100 and like 58 plus tax. It came to 180 basically, which I like. I don't mind spending a lot of money on something that's good quality. Like even with this tea, yeah, this tea is really expensive, and I, I probably wouldn't buy it again unless it's like really, really worth it. Like blows my socks off, love it, and things like that like this purse and stuff like i'll spend the money on it if first of all i love it and i know i'm going to use it and second of all if it's going to last me a long time and this michael kors bag as long as i take good care of it should last me a really long time and i just love it and i'm quite picky when it comes to stuff like that too like it took me forever to find these shoes and that's why like when i found them like i didn't really care how much they were because i found the shoes i liked so oh. I was glad I got all the stuff that I did. And I'll go do my makeup now and we'll be on our way for sushi soon. My makeup's on, except my lipstick. Carlos is shaving. And while he shaves, we're going to try this beer. This is one I got from my secret Santa back in December. It's Headstock India Pale Ale from Nickelbrock Brewing Company. Um. Where's this from? I don't know, but it's really oh, aromatic. It's from, it is. It, it smells, smells like it. really good. There's a lot of orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, from Ontario. From Burlington, Ontario. 7% alcohol. Yeah, I smell it very citrusy. I don't know, that's kind of all I get. Like citrus and yeast. Well, he'll smell it after he's done <laughs> shaving. What did you think of the aromas of the beer? Uh, get a lot of like mandarin orange, mandarin orange for sure, mm -hmm. and hoppy. That's all I got. Yeah, and the beer is 
I think it's a good quality IPA. It's just too hoppy for my taste. Yeah. So like I can appreciate that it's a I really agree. good beer, mm -hmm. but I just don't personally like it that much. But yeah. So exactly. We're just Carlos. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing some math. And we're gonna go. We're gonna finish these beers and go right away. Right? Yep. That's hey. better. Okay. We so. were choosing between two Japanese restaurants in Osborne, between Naru and Meiji. So we chose Naru. There we go. We're going to get some sushi. I hope it's good. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. We'll have some sashimi and some sushi. It's going to be delicious. Are we going to get a Japanese beer? If you want, we can get some yebis. It depends on the price, I guess. Who knows if they even have any yebis. Yeah, we'll see what they have. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> They have an opening band I never heard of called Fitness. Right? Yeah, and Naro is really good. We filmed our whole experience there, so you can watch that video on our other channel. Oh, it was so good. On our channel. It was really delicious. Good. Yeah. And this is so cool. I have to show you. It's this. Oh, it's not focusing. It's a limited edition poster for the concert, and it's signed. That's so cool. Focus. We just watched the video and it wasn't focused. Yeah. What, so. Do it again? Or? No. So here's the venue. This is the front. Now we're in through there, through the door. Exciting! Can't wait. Hopefully it's good. Well, that's cool. Be filmed right now. <laughs> Carlos is here. Hey. He's not Nikki anymore. Yeah, I'm good. So that was our day. That what a great day. day. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's pretty big. What, what, day. Did, what did you think of the concert? It was good. Yeah, the Congos. Uh, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. I really liked the accordion, but mm. they were, uh, I don't know, like less hyper than I thought they would be. Less... Yeah, they're pretty chill. Like, I guess you could interpret it as boring sometimes, but know. there were some songs they really had energy for, like the last one, the encore, that was r the best. They were yeah. really good. But overall, it was a good concert. I would go see them again. And I really like the venue. Especially at that price. Park Theater is really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll, I'll see you in the next video. This is going on my channel, not our channel. <laughs> Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>